Hi there and welcome to Halcyon Blink. On these episodes I'm cranking through films that I saw during the course of the year and just didn't get a chance to review for whatever reason. Um, on this episode, Girl on a Train. Yeah, you can tell I saw this one under my own steam. I saw it with an ex-partner, you know, she read the book, so I suppose you've got to go see the film. Um, I've got to be honest, the film itself wasn't terrible. Um, in fact, it was quite interesting in places. The characterizations were good. The lead actress, uh, I think it was Emma Stone, she was very, very strong. Um, very, very immersing in the character. The music and the cinematography were good. Um, it's very cutty. Um, it jumps around a lot. It's quite hard to follow at times, but that's, um, you know, that's again an artistic interpretation of her because she's a drunk. She's an alcoholic, so you have to bear that in mind when you're watching the film. It's not going to make a lot of sense for a lot of it for two reasons. Number one, the film itself is is shot in certain in like I say in a way to convey how messed up this girl is. She's she's an alcoholic and she's been driven down this spiraling. Um, a downward turn um, but also because the book is much lengthier it goes into a lot more detail about the this triangle of characters that each cover each other's lives it's a very weird dynamic and the film has to wrap up really quickly once the realisation is it doesn't have the time to sort of feed you these tidbits of information that might be useful to you in establishing what's happened it kind of just drops it on you right at the end um, which is why I would say that the, the, the film leaves it leaves on a happy note, but it's very bittersweet for some reason. It's an odd juxtaposition between feeling great that the characters have resolution to an extent, but also, okay, that was quick, f*** me. Um, okay, fair enough, thanks very much for the film. Um, if I'm rating this film out of 10, I would give it, I don't know, maybe a 7. 7 or, nah, I think seven's fair. It's not an amazing film by any stretch of the imagination. Gone Girl is, a, is, a, is an infinitely better sort of psychological thriller film based on relationships and how f***ed up they are and how they, you know, become and how they degenerate, how fucked up people are and all the rest of that sort of business. Um, but it, in, the, in of itself, it's not a terrible film. I would just say that the characterizations of some of its other actors are quite weak and the overall the overall point is a bit messed up. It's like, oh yeah, everyone in relationships is miserable. Cool. It's good to know that, that we've survived for two and a half thousand years hating everybody. Yay! Anyway, that was my review of uh, Going on a Train. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Um, leave your comments, suggestions and other things, or indeed make sure that this, if this is the one you want, or the previous two are the one you want, make sure it gets likes, make sure it gets subscribes, otherwise I ain't gonna do it. So thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. I used to watch this perfect couple. They were the embodiment of true love. It's people are gonna look. What people?